I wish you would pray for an easy life, but the strength to endure a difficult one. Life is unpredictable and it's messy. And the goal is not comfort or perfection, but rather Stu shows us that suffering can be a gift. So maybe unpack that a little bit for us. Uh, yeah, I, that's... That's it's pretty remarkable how much he embraced the suffering and all the uh, the hardships that he faced, um, you know. And it really took me to task when dealing with the loss of my mom during the making of this movie, knowing that I always wanted to look uh, to Stu in his example, but did I have the ability and the strength to look at it and handle it in the same way that he did? And I think the most important thing that I got was even if I can't I am aspiring to and I will continue to and every day uh, I just get a little bit more stronger in my faith and things get a little bit more easy to accept uh, whether it's you know reciting the serenity prayer or you know uh, just trusting in God's will life's gonna give you a gut full of reasons to be angry you only need one to be grateful Oh, For Stu, it was a girl in a motorcycle accident that got him kind of exploring faith and, and a greater purpose. For you, what was the catalyst? Uh, you know, gosh, just going down the wrong road and realizing that all the guys that I looked up to that I wanted to be like when all the dust settled and we were in trouble, nobody was there to support me. Only the people who were dedicated to and committed to serving God and their community and um, and then when I realized that those are the people that I should look up to, they pointed me in the right direction, in the direction of faith. And when I did that, good things started happening. And so I said, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. I'm like, I'm not going to waver. This, this, this doing good and feeling good thing is really nice. And, uh, you know, here I am still just trying to get better and do more. But, um, you know, I certainly haven't forgot what that feels like. I'm praying for you, Bill. Don't you dare. You're violating my rights. There's a man. I love Mel Gibson. It was great seeing the two of you together on screen again. And I thought he did such a fantastic job of showing the brokenness that this father has with his son and the contrast to what that looks like with Stu, with God, the completeness that he has. Maybe mm. talk about the different fatherly roles. Yeah, well, I think, you know, it's... It's very difficult, and parents are not supposed to bury their children. And, and if you don't have those kind of coping skills, usually turn to the wrong things to, to, to kind of mask that pain or at least uh, temporarily, uh, you know, compartmentalize it. And so I, I think um, Stu was also angry at the world and left to his own devices, but his father had an opportunity to come back and do all the things for his son that he didn't do early on. I mean, he fed him, he clothed him, he bathed him, and he went on to get baptized. Stu really milked it. I mean, he got both of his parents baptized. He, uh, oh, once he got you, he wouldn't let you go. He has me now, and he's challenging me to do more every single day, and I love every minute of it. This was probably not only a very emotional role for you, but it was physically took a toll on your body as well. Talk about, you know, having to become him. Well, you know, I didn't really feel like, you know, it was necessary just to kind of do the actor puts on weight to, you know, transform. But it was such a big part of, you know, his physicality was such a big part of who he was. And his spirituality really became his strength when his, phys when his physicality deteriorated. So we needed to see that on film in real time. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I was the guy who had to do it. But, you know, I think it, it, it makes the film that much more powerful. You kind of came about this story in an interesting way. Talk to me about how you first even found out about Father Stu. All right, I'll tell you a joke. I'm at a restaurant in Beverly Hills with two priests, and one of them is trying to pitch me a movie. I mean, that's basically <laughs> how it happened. And um, I didn't pay attention the first time, and the second time around, it, it started to register with me. But again, it was Stu at work, um, you know, and, and uh, I'm, I'm very glad that Father Ed was persistent in telling me the story because once I realized... This is a unique opportunity for me to utilize my talents and, and, and all the things that I've built as far as my career to do something for the greater good. I love seeing the film and I can't wait to see how it impacts others. Oh, God bless you. Thank you.